This is how to disconnect your local controller and reconnect a receiver. So go to connect instruments, go to RTK, and then depending on the model you want to connect to, let's say I'm connecting to an i73 plus, you can then either choose to connect by Wi-Fi or by Bluetooth. Currently, this controller is connected by Wi-Fi to my hotspot at the office, so we won't use Wi-Fi hotspot, we will use Bluetooth. Bluetooth is then going to be looking for the receiver, which I will then power on. So the receiver must have a Bluetooth signal going, so make sure your Bluetooth on your receiver is running or your receiver is switched to the on position. If it still doesn't come up, just switch your receiver off and switch it back on and wait a few seconds for the receiver to boot up. Now go to the search button and you should see your Bluetooth device will appear. So we're going to say pair new device and then pick your receiver. Now that the Bluetooth is paired in Android, it can also pair in Landstar. Now you select it in Landstar and just say connect. Connection has been lost. Successfully connected. So the connection that was lost was the controller that lost its connection, but now it is connected to the receiver, which is i73+. Plus. And to check it, you can just press on this config page, instrument info, and it tells you exactly what you connected to and the available settings of this receiver. You can see it's got a correct serial number based on the serial number at the bottom of your receiver. It's got the protocol and the channel and the frequency setup, and it is set as a GNSS auto rover at this moment. If I want to change that, we do this on the GNSS rover page. Oops, go back. Or the GNSS base page. So depending on what you need, you can then change the mode of this receiver. I pressed the back button when the icons flashed like that. So we just press the back arrow to get out of that mode. 